Hello everyone, this is Pat Potter here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Hunger Games on Minecraft Pocket Edition because William has pushed it a step further, kind of beyond the beta stages. It's still kind of, uh, you know, being developed and things, always changing and stuff like that, but now you can at least play on it, so I'm going to show you guys. So it's play.lbsg for Lifeboat Survival Games, in case you can't remember which order the letters go in, it's Lifeboat Survival Games, .net, with the default port of 19132, which I believe is already pre-filled on when you actually create a new server. So if you do external, see, the port's already filled in to uh, play.lifeboatslbsg, yep, .net. Not .com, .net, or else it will not work. Once you've done that, obviously you click on it, and it should take you right in. I don't believe you'll have an issue with joining, typically. And, and if you can't join, it's not because I made a fake video. Okay, it's because, it, it, you know, the server's probably down under maintenance or something like that. Sometimes people go on there, you know, put in the comments, Oh, it's fake, it wasn't working. Well, it does work. Because you, you either type something wrong or it was just down at the moment. Now, obviously, I just covered my keyboard on the screen there. I had to edit that out because I don't think it's a good idea to show you guys all my password. So, now, one thing you'll notice about my screen, obviously, it's different than what yours will be is the fact that I'm in creative mode. Now, it's not actually creative mode, I can't actually break anything. Not that I would want to be, because that would be stupid, I don't want to destroy this world on accident. As you can see, there's tons of junk, kind of um, degenerating away from the world, keeping it cleared up a bit. So, you've got a nice setup, and it's a bit laggy, just up front, because of all these chunks that are trying to basically generate, go away, and make it empty for you. This will basically happen every single time you join the server. Now, there's also a cool command you can use, it's slash mute, so that you can not have all this message crap up on the screen, which is what I'm going to start doing while I review the maps for you guys. For YouTube, I'm going to have to just mute it, then I won't be able to hear anyone. I would see it on the screen, you know, less obtrusive to you guys. So, you know, it's, it's really quite a nice setup, though, because before I showed you guys the lobby system, it was obviously redone. And if you go to the back here, you'll see different information about basically downloading the application on your Android device for Lifeboat Survival Games and buying different ranks, VIP, gives you different setups when you're playing the games. Obviously, there's one on both sides, trying to keep it so when it's overflowed, but you'll also be able to find more information here. For example, Twitters, follow at WilliamTDR at LifeboatMC. So I'll have both of those in the description as well. So if you're actually, you know, looking around for the guy who created everything, this will be William. He's bloody awesome. Go follow him. The links will be in the bottom of the description for the video. I'll have all of his information down there. So, obviously, the system actually joining a server is quite simple. You walk up to these signs, and I think if you go too close, it will push you away. Yes, see? It pushes you away so that you can't cover the signs. Now, holy crap, all of a sudden, all this chat is in the way. So, you see, in tournament right there, in tournament, deathmatch, deathmatch, join. Now, obviously, a lot of these... Uh, you see, only have five or six people. It's because they're either dead, or it's because it's still in testing, sort of. Like, anyone can join, but it's still sort of under testing stuff. So, sometimes it's kind of sketchy. Uh, you're not sure how many people are going to be in a game. So, to join, you simply tap on the sign, and you'll go in. Now, I can't do it in this creative mode. I don't know why. It just simply works that way. I think it's the way it's programmed with how you touch a block when you're in survival versus creative. So, if I just do... What, what, what room is it? It's SG1, so I think if I do slash join 1, it should let me do the same thing as if I was to tap the block. So here we are. Now something... Oh. What the? Oh, the game just started. Okay, well, I have 30 seconds of invincibility. Obviously, I have infinite seconds because I'm in creative mode. But I'm not actually going to play because that is so stupid and cheap. But, you know, when I review maps, it's okay because I fly around. By the time I'm done reviewing the map, usually... The game's not even over, and I can leave the game, and they can have a fair ending. Otherwise, I can simply go over there with this sword and slot to their butts, and they'll have nothing they can do about it. But I'm not going to, because I'm going to be fair, okay? So, in case it's cheese in Spanish, by the way. Anyway, so, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Everybody, get on this server. It's awesome. The more people, the better. Soon enough, they may have to add more maps if it gets really crowded, which is the kind of the plan. So, we want to force it. Get tons of people involved. You know, it's really fun when you have... 24 people who start out playing the game with you when you're actually joining because you know the game is just much more intense There's a lot of people also note there may be issues here and there for example Maybe someone will be invincible 
kind of glitchy like he's still working out all the little bugs but i think all the main stuff's worked out which is why it is somewhat public now so thanks again guys i'll have information down below for william as well as the ip address and also how to get your own mcp server and other information so you can follow me on twitter so see you guys later in another video